Um, all right, well, I am Nikki Allison from Savaw Group and I'm the host of this room today. Um, so we're gonna get started with Jaspreet Singh and he is gonna talk about how to prepare a product development roadmap in an agile way. So we'll get going. Sure. Do we need to wait for more people or shall we start? Do you want? Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and start, we're recording. So we're going to put this online later okay. on too. Recording is already done and we are good to go. Let me share my screen. Uh, uh, Nikki, can you please confirm if you are able to see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Okay, thank you so much. Hi everyone, welcome to this session. Uh, how to prepare the product development roadmap in an agile way. Let's talk about me. I like I'm I'm working as a uh, project manager right now. Uh, but my past experience is like I'm working uh, worked as a quality assurance engineer. Then after switch my role uh, to the project manager, uh, I now miss a chance to contribute in the Drupal communities and uh, community. And uh, there are many platforms where we have all, I've already spoken so far. And this is my second uh, as well a session where last year I also presented and this year I got the opportunity as well. And uh, there are many events which I have already spoken so far. Uh, there are social media links and you can reach out to me anytime on via Twitter, LinkedIn, or the Drupal to Okay, so there's a one hi from Excellent. Um, we are a remote agency and working in the, in the multiple streams. Our major focus is the Drupal. Uh, we are uh, one of the big, company of the Drupal uh, service area, and uh, we're providing the services uh, in the WordPress and uh, uh, the Motic as well. So we are now more than 180 people uh, here at Nexon and throughout the globe. So there is a small high from the excellent site. Okay, so in, in this session, uh, we are going to discuss a few things. The first one is what is a product development roadmap? Second one is the creation of the product development roadmap procedure, stakeholder alignments and the communication process, how it will be established, how to build the roadmap, what are the ways, uh, the prioritization of the product development roadmap, and last but not least, which is the aligning and developing the product roadmap. So let's start uh, with the with the development of uh, what is the product development roadmap, uh, how it is working, what are the things you're supposed to take care of while preparing the product development roadmap. The first thought uh, which comes into my mind, like goal without a plan, it's just a dream. So this is the little fact. Uh, if you don't have a specific goal, uh, then you won't be able to achieve your dream. So let's discuss these things like how you can achieve it, how you can prepare the route map uh, with, with a strategic way. The first thing like uh, the roadmap creation process required a lot of practices, a communication uh, with the stakeholders, the alignment is required. Alignment with the internal team members, the engineer team members, plus uh, the clients as well. The client, the kind of end client or the middle layer client. Uh, so I call it as a stakeholders. So in, in the, throughout the presentation, I will call the client as a stakeholder. So the result is like, there are the few things which we need to take care while preparing the, uh, the roadmap. So what are the things which we need to take care while preparing the roadmap? The first thing is, what's our goal? What, why we are doing that? What is the goal which we need to achieve? Uh, so at least if you are clear about the goal, please ask the relevant questions related to that so that client can provide you the, the proper insights on the same so you can understand that. Second thing, why do we want to achieve it? So why we need to do that? So at least if you can raise the client, so at least client can share the intention, uh, what is uh, the goal and the idea behind that uh, thing, behind that uh, the, uh, the product at least, you'll get that from this question. 
who will build the solution at least you can also share your perspectives lower in the engineering team members like uh, how many team members will be involved in order to prepare this what is the strength and uh, uh, how long it will go so at least uh, your uh, this question will fulfill your points when will the milestone be achieved uh, once the roadmap is prepared or once you get the complete information then you have to prepare a proper strategy uh, like and uh, if you can divide the things in the milestones or divide into the MVP, we'll discuss the MVP process in the next, in the few slides. And, uh, but once you get these things, then definitely a milestone uh, ETA will be achieved by your side as well. Where do we stand now? Right now, what is the current situation of the product? Uh, if the current uh, product has a lot of technical debts, or uh, there are a lot of risk areas which we need to take care while working on that. So uh, at least our product roadmap depends on those things as well. If the technical debts are less, definitely the estimation will be less. If uh, technical debts or the risk areas are high, then we need to make sure at least the buffer time or we need to convey the same thing to the client as well. Last but not the least, how will we get there? So a lot of plans and the strategies you need to prepare uh, divide the things the multiple big things into the, uh, the small small chunks so at least you can prepare a proper strategy and get the uat done from time to time so that is these are the few things which will help you uh, to prepare the roadmap and uh, plus the estimation process so these are the things which i got like kind of for the roadmap point of view uh, one thing is if you have the desire plus idea, then that will come as a dream. I call it as a vision. So let's suppose uh, I have an idea about the mobile application, uh, but I don't know what kind, which kind of mobile application I supposed to build. So this is a complete raw idea. Like I, my thought is to build an application, but right now I don't have the complete idea what would be the idea uh, what would be the the complete process and what would be the competitor uh, about that thing so this is a completely a vision like i want to build a mobile application if further onward like if the dream plus plan will combine then at least the goal will prepare the goal means uh, you have the specific thing you suppose you can target for uh, my idea was to build a mobile application. If you plan for, if let's suppose if I'm, I would like to prepare a one application, which is close to the Ola or Uber, at least this is the kind of the plan which we can make to build for. So this is my ideal goal. Like I want to make a, the better application uh, from any Ola or Uber application. So this is one a hypothetical example. And this is the kind of product strategy you need to build. If your product strategy is complete or very clear, then definitely you can divide the strategy into the multiple milestones and go for that. This is the one way in order to achieve the productive effort roadmap. Moving ahead, roadmap development creation process. What is the process kind of? Uh, the product manager uh, must follow the three points or the three aspects uh, while creating the product, uh, practical product development roadmap. So kind of, first of all, knowing the product and check for the market as well. Like in the market, what are the things going on? And uh, when you are dealing with the client, the stakeholder, then make sure to ask the relevant questions so you'll get the uh, complete insight about the product, complete knowledge, make it documented, documented, Second thing is reaching out to the various stakeholders. If there are multiple stakeholders are there and uh, the knowledge is there with the multiple stakeholders, then try to uh, collaborate with all those stakeholders and get those ideas. Because let's suppose uh, one, the front end uh, idea is with one stakeholder and the back end idea is with another stakeholder, try to collaborate with both. So at least you will get the complete holistic view. Third is once the, the roadmap is created, then try to share with the, the internal team member engineers and the stakeholders. Make sure the alignment is there between the stakeholder versus uh, product manager 
plus internal team manager versus uh, the product manager so at least because if the team is not aligned with the road map team is not comfortable with the the estimation uh, like about the milestone process achievement process then you won't be able to achieve it so make sure the alignment is there on the road map uh, between the team and the stakeholders this is the one way uh this is a one uh, quote which i really like a lot from the abraham lincoln give me the six hours of chop down the tree and i will spend the first four hours for the sharpening dikes and the remaining two hours in order to cut down the tree that's a amazing thought uh, which is really great and uh, in our next slides we'll definitely discuss why we have put this quote uh, here so at least you'll get a better idea stakeholder communication and the prioritization this is a important i would say the critical key factor uh, for the uh, product development roadmap so when uh, you are working on this thing then the many key areas you are supposed to work upon the first one is interaction with the stakeholders in my opinion uh, is a kind of act sharpening if you are not interacting with your stakeholders during the start of the product development roadmap that you won't be able to get the complete insights you won't be able to achieve the things on time and you will not get the complete idea make sure uh, get the complete uh, idea from the product uh, from the stakeholders during the start of that second is dive deep when you talk to the stakeholders ask as much as many questions to the stakeholders so at least you you can grab the knowledge collect the ideas and put into the document third is when you have the technical or the non technical stakeholders so try to invite your technical team members in that conversation um in order because let's suppose if the client will say like uh, uh, that in, in terms of technical things then definitely a technical person from our side technical engineer will be able to respond back to the client with, with the relevant answer and the second thing is at least it is not a case in order to just share the thoughts it's a kind of the share the knowledge uh, the point is uh, when client expected that like I, they want to build <clears throat> they want to build x and if x is not feasible in in our solution then definitely the technical person can recommend the another way like if you can go with this route this can be feasible but if you want to say to stick with the x feature then this is not uh, feasible in in this cms or the appropriate solution this is the one way in order to sort out the things during the start third thing not only the technical team member but try to involve the other team members which are a part of this product kind of the project managers uh, scrum master is already there the product manager is there then the other person like the quality assurance engineers the developers so that at least the they will get the holistic view what are what are the things they supposed to deliver what is the importance what are the urgent things they supposed to target first at least they will get the uh, idea during the start of this another the most challenging aspect i have had uh, like multiple occasion is like kind of time to time the changing the prioritization uh, because the things if we have already prioritized during the start of the uh, the road map if we stick with that then definitely uh, we can achieve the milestones as per the plan thing but if you if the priorities will change time to time it will be very difficult for the engineers in order to stick with the plan and stick with the milestones so make sure to get the clarity on the prioritization during the start so at least uh, the alignment will be there from the the engineer side as well and they would be more comfortable in order to deliver the things as per the commitment <clears throat> so last but not the least product vision and the strategy provides everyone with a clear direction if the strategy is clear the vision is properly defined in the in the road map then at least uh the team members would be on the same page the client would be on the same page and you would be able to deliver the things on time as per the the defined way in the road map these are the the key factors which you need to take care while preparing uh, the road map and uh, with the 
stakeholder communication and the prioritization process. Okay, how to build the roadmap? There are the many ways in order to do that. So uh, the consist of, it consists of the number of various steps. Okay, uh, it consists of result for in this in terms of the software for the form of the features, product, services, migration, continuous improvement, etc. So I can give you one example so you can relate with that. Let's suppose um, there is a one conference room. Okay, the conference room I will call it as a product. Okay, uh, in the conference room there is a table, chair. So these are the features. Okay, and later on, if you want to uh, change the position of the features or you want to include more features in that product, so the product vision will remain same, but the only the features prioritization or the feature enhancements uh, will be updated accordingly. So this is the one way. Uh, and further in the further slide, so I'll elaborate you more on same. First one is the prioritizing, prioritizing uh, the product development roadmap. There are once the the roadmap is done then at least the pre-prioritization is required uh, once you get the complete details from the client research is done discussion with the stakeholders subject matter experts are there then definitely uh, the conversation would be there as well with the client but the point is what are the ways in order to make sure the prioritization is done from our side and uh, the client will be on the same page there are many ways in order to make it done the kind of the user stories mapping. I'm not diving deep into that. I assume that like you are already aware about these techniques, but I'm just giving you the uh, awareness about these things. Like these are the approaches which will help us to make the prioritization better. You can choose any. Uh, these are the few examples which I can share with you. First, first one is the user story mapping. Uh, goals, item, uh, stuff, and the, the, the task. Uh, the planning and then after the value versus the cost risk, the Moscow model. So kind of these are the few techniques which exist um, uh, and you can follow any uh, in order to make sure the prioritization is done. Moving ahead, the visualizing the, the product development roadmap. The first one is the product launch, assume like uh, let's assume in an example, like you want to release a one iPhone game, the roadmap would be like kind of the complete, the technical versus the non-technical, the items can be included. Uh, the MVP process is generated, all the components divided into the stages like alpha, beta, alpha, beta process, we can discuss in the next slide. But in this slide, like what are the things uh, we need to take care uh, while preparing the roadmap for same? These are for the launch. Okay, the product launch. Don't forget the key uh, preparation checklist, the launch preparation checklist. Uh, when we're talking about the launch preparation checklist, so it means the, the pre-launch, launch, and the post-launch checklist should be there. Okay, so if you have the proper checklist, at least you will be aligned on that thing. So during the development, during the deployment, at least your team members will not miss any points and they doing the checklist and they will can just tick mark all those items like these are the done, done, done or not. So if there are any pending items, at least the give a heads up to the client as well. Second is see the holistic picture as an engineering thing. Uh, what are the like uh, key impact areas after the deployment? So at least these are the three uh, things which we need to list it down somewhere. So at least client and you would be on the same page. Uh, if there are any non-issues, please also list down under the same uh, the launch checklist sheet. So at least the client will be on the same page as well. The next is get the clear overview of the affected departments if there are uh, the risk areas or the dependencies are already defined somewhere it will help you to uh, to test those things uh, after the deployment by post um, by post deployment and uh, you can take care of those risk areas on the priority then after it comes down with the the medium and the low priorities as well i would like to showcase a one picture which will help you to understand the way uh, once you have the big milestone so try to divide it into the multiple phases alpha phase beta phase and the launch phase which i can show i've shown you the so kind of the the features the kind of the 10 to 20 features <coughs> sorry 
20 features which uh, can be listed down under the alpha phase. Uh, we can also specify, you can see that the January to February, it's a kind of the timeline we have specified. So the April to May, what would be the beta phase, the, the March, June, what would the bug fixing kind of the, we deserve the March month as a bug fixing uh, for, and the enhancements. And the same goes to the June, because once the, the phase is released, the client will do the UAT. Definitely uh, the UAT rejections or the improvement or the enhancements will be there. So you have to reserve some time for those fixes as well. So we call it as a UAT hardening phase. Once these two phases are done, then after you can plan for the launch phase and make sure the launch phase, the checklist preparation should be there. So at least each and every line item will be aligned accordingly. This is the one way uh, if the, the roadmap, the process you will follow, definitely you can achieve a milestone on time. The next is the visualizing the product development roadmap, the service deployment and the migration. Uh, kind of it is a way, let's suppose uh, you are working in the very SaaS model like Drupal um, or the Shopify, okay? And uh, the features are already built and the product is already. And uh, in case you have to drop to some features from that system, definitely it will impact the other key areas. So it is a very uh, critical to have the clear migration strategy beginning with the small batches of the customer with a small number of products and the order volume. So if you have the proper plan for same, because if you know aware about that, like the migration uh, will definitely impact that the last. So make sure this prepare a proper strategy for same divide into the small, small chunks, which we already discussed in the previous slide, like related to the alpha, beta and the launch one. So make sure to follow the same for the migration stages as well, stages. So here in this uh, image, you can see that we have specified the stage one, two and three. And the stage one will uh, uh, deploy the, or migrate the first batch, second batch and the third batch in the week one. So like this way, the small, small things are already divided into a weeks as well. And based upon that, we can plan the things. So not only the deployment process, but the migration uh, can also be divided into these things as well. <clears throat> Next is uh, reviewing the roadmap with the engineering team. Uh, make sure um, once you get all the things, the multiple domains, engineering teams, I would highly recommend uh, to review this roadmap with the engineering team. Because once you will try to review these things with the engineering, there are a lot of things you need to cover up uh, while asking the questions to the engineering team. So based upon that, you will get to know uh, if the product roadmap is good or not, if there is scope of improvement, if the team members are comfortable or not, what are the things, what are the questions you're supposed to raise to the engineering team? So you'll get the, the better insights. First one is, <clears throat> What does the team think about the roadmap? What is the feedback? If they uh, they feel that like uh, the roadmap is good, it is achievable or not. So at least you'll get to know uh, from the team feedback. Second is once you get the answer, then after you can ask like, do you like the plan? Uh, if we'll go with the same strategy, then are we good enough in order to move into the right direction or not? Third is what did I forgot to add? Is there anything which I missed in the roadmap? At least the team members can point it out if you will ask this question. Do the priorities make sense from the technical point of view? That kind of the A to Z priorities are already set by me. And uh, in case the team member feels that like, no, uh, this sign up feature is added at the last, ideally it's supposed to be <clears throat> beside to the login. The login and the sign up feature should be on the top. At least the priorities, they can also suggest you in terms of technical point of view. Last but not the least, you can check with them after once they are done with the review, you can ask the question like, what's your confidence level to deliver it? Let's suppose you have already shared the, uh, you have already uh, shared the estimation on the, on the roadmap. And the team member feels that like uh, there are a lot of technical debts and the confidence level is low. Definitely you can work with the engineering team in order to revise the estimation and share with the client. 
if the confidence level is high then definitely you are good to go with the roadmap and in case if the confidence level is low from the junior team make sure to work on those uh, subsets uh, which are required in the roadmap <clears throat> moving ahead which is aligning and the development developing the roadmap after the priorities have been established um, additional information has been added it is time to inform to the stakeholders uh, i've already spoken to the client and uh, this have already been interested in and uh, the kind of after seeing the roadmap so the revision of roadmap doesn't happen time to time so this can sometimes occur though often the following reasons kind of there are many reasons uh, which can help you to make the changes um, first one is the legal changes are required if in case the scope of work contact is already signed so make sure that's supposed to be updated okay if there is a market change then definitely the uh, the client will definitely come to you uh, in order to announce the things and make sure this supposed to be considered as a change request the high priority uh, the customer request so if client feel that like no uh, apart from these i would like to go ahead with these things these priority things so at least we need to handle those requests on, on the priority basis last but not the least highest paid person's opinion so kind of the client will suggest you like uh, on this point of view uh, this is my opinion and make sure to work it accordingly these are the the few ways in order to make sure like uh, if these things uh, if the change happens uh, from the client side in the roadmap make sure to follow these things in order to make sure these are completely aligned as per the priorities plus the client and uh, you and your or your organization is on the same page uh, related to this these changes <clears throat> In the last slide, I would like to cover up, like, make sure keep the product roadmap updated and be in agile. I would like to discuss the key takeaways from this slide. First one is make sure, um, ensure that the stakeholders are consulted uh, before preparing the roadmap. Be holistic in your approach. During the preparation of roadmap, what should uh, a product manager take into the consideration? What are the things he's supposed to take care? What are the questions or the queries he's supposed to ask to the to the stakeholders uh, and to the internal engineering team members? The process of identifying the priorities and the communicating them. Completely uh, alignment is required on same. The visualization of the roadmap is required, which we have already discussed in the previous slide. Last but not the least, which is the stakeholders and the engineering team alignment. This is a one of the crucial thing which is required. So once uh, we are done with the alignment, then after we are good to go for the development. That is it from my side. Um, these are my the social media handlers. So you can reach out to me anytime. And thank you so much. Thank you, Jaspreet. Um, does anyone have any questions from the room or no? Good. All right. I think that's it. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, you can share the feedback. Um, uh, this is my email address and you can drop a message to me, like in case if you have any specific thing to discuss uh, related to the product roadmap, or uh, if you have any specific feedback, then you can send me an email here. Okay. Awesome. Thanks y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining this call. Bye-bye.